right? And the flop puts you at the bottom end of a possible straight. So I have a pair of eights, and the flop is nine, ten, jack. I am possibly at the bottom end of a straight. This is not a hand that you really want to play very strongly. I'm not saying you should totally fold it, but in this scenario right here, okay, there are 39 possible better hands, 44 possible better hands if the flop was suited. So I am at the bottom end of a possible straight. This is not a very good hand to play because let's say a queen does hit, all right? So now I have a straight. I have 8, 9, 10, jack, queen. Now, anybody with a king has got me. Anybody with ace king has got the nuts. So, if you have a pair and you are at the bottom end of a possible straight, this is not really a good hand. You'd probably want to let it go. If you're going to play the hand in limit, you want to keep the hand very, very small. There you go. Now we're going to talk about if you have flopped two pairs. I have a jack 10 and the flop has come jack 10 7.